Hello, uh, it is time for another doodle, the 10,000th doodle of the year. Um, well, not since January, but since the past 365 days, but I've got my little sketchbook here. Once again, the Moleskin sketchbook, and we are going to be doing a doodle today with this here red pen, which is the Lemmy Safari fountain pen and I have done a review on this before these are refillable and this is the extra fine nib if you can see that there and I prefer this one over the larger nibs because I'm doing a lot of details in my doodles but I have considered looking at a nib that has smaller than this but the Lamy Safari this is the smallest size that you can get um, for this pen, although you could get the uh, Jin Hao, I think that's how it's pronounced, and those pens can give a finer line, but these are refillable, and I'm using my Heart of Darkness ink in this pen. It is currently the only pen that I actually have, no, I take that back, I have two inks. I have a Heart of Darkness and a red ink that can be used in this pen, and, um, Though I, I mostly use the Heart of Darkness in this, but it seems to dry pretty quick, and um, I like that I can draw at an angle more. Like like with my roaching isographs, I have to hold them pretty much like that to get these here pens to uh, want to work, you know. But um, these ones I don't have that problem with. But we're gonna be doing a doodle today in our moleskin sketchbook, and if you have any questions about anything. Do let me know in the comments below uh, or anything else you'd like me to draw or to go over or talk about. But my day has been pretty good. Um, just been doing a lot of editing of videos and trying to get things uploaded. Um, I've got thousands of videos to edit and upload. You've got, yeah, it's just, I've, I've got a lot of stuff to work on. But um, yeah, so. Let's go ahead and start on this doodle here with this Lamy Safari fountain pen. And once I start this doodle, uh, do let me know below what you think of the drawing and if there's anything you'd like me to draw in particular, or maybe a certain type of paper that you suggest that I should draw in, or a sketchbook, or pretty much anything art related, let me know and um, I'll reply to you and we can talk about that. But let's go ahead and get started on this here doodle. I was just thinking about how much things can change, just depending on the state of your mind. How you change from being one person to someone completely different, that has a completely different outlook, that wants completely different things in life, that isn't doing any of the things that they once were. And sometimes we lose these things, we lose these hobbies, these ideas of what we want to do, the things that we enjoy. And eventually, we end up being somebody completely different. Somebody that's not what they once were. Sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worst. We go from being somebody that might be creative, from somebody that might have had ideas and aspirations and motivations to, to create things or maybe another hobby, and then it change into something else. You change into someone that loses all of that, and then you wonder whatever happened. What happened to who I used to be? Or maybe things were worse. Maybe, maybe you made bad choices and now you're happy with who you are, what you're doing, and where you are in life. And maybe you're looking back on it now and thinking, you know, I've come a long ways to get where I am. I'm proud of where I'm at. I'm proud of the person that I've turned into. But sometimes, maybe for even some people, they're pretty much the same. They don't change a whole lot. I've had some people I remember from school growing up that they're pretty much exactly the same. Their personality hasn't changed. And then there are other people that completely changed 
for the worst. Um, they're not as positive as what they once used to be. And then there are other people that have completely changed their life and improved everything about it. And I think for me, the area that I've improved the most would be my motivation and my ability to keep pushing myself for drawing, my drawing skill. I've gotten more skilled at video editing, learning about cameras and computers and audio editing and using audio mixers and all that, microphones. Um, there was a lot more involved in video editing and doing this than I really thought there was going to be. But when I look back on it, you know, three years ago, uh, if I seen what I'm doing now, I would I would think to myself, that looks extremely complicated. I don't really understand how I was doing that. It doesn't really seem to make sense. Uh, but here I am doing it, and I've made quite a few videos now at this point. I'm almost at 700, and I'm just going to keep going, I think. In another year, I will probably have at least a thousand videos, if not possibly more, because I've got a lot of things that I'm working on, that I'm editing, and I've uh, just got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, a lot of tutorials and pen reviews and paper and sketchbook reviews of which ones I like to draw in. But yeah, it's kind of... Hmm. Sometimes I don't know the word for things. I want to go to think of something and I don't know the word for it but it's kind of like when you when you want to draw but you don't know the words that you need to try to explain what you want to draw so you just start drawing and that's pretty much what I do most of the time I don't know what to draw or what I'm going to draw but I just start putting things in the paper and before I know it I end up making some kind of detailed intricate doodle and then people ask me, what is that? And I tell them, I don't really know what it is, but it ended up being something. Um, I don't know what it is. But that's usually how my drawings turn out. Intricate, random, chaotic doodles. Of complete random things placed in completely random places and places I didn't expect to place them. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. And mostly drawing with a roaching isograph or a fountain pen. Or maybe a sharpie, but mostly with a roaching isograph more than anything else. Hmm. I'm sitting here and I'm just thinking about when I was younger. All the nice sunsets that I got to see when I lived in Florida. I mean, the sunsets aren't bad here. It's just there's this huge tree in front of my apartment. And it blocks the sun during the summer, which is nice. It keeps it cooler in here when the sun is setting that direction. But it, I can't really see anything then. And then in the winter, all the leaves fall off, but then it's cloudy all winter. And so then I just look out and I see just clouds overcast. Hmm. But I, I think I would rather have the tree there than nothing at all. Because... It gives me a little bit of shade. It keeps my apartment a little bit cooler because I do have a hard time keeping this place cool being that I live in an upstairs apartment. But, yeah. yeah. Funny how you think about how much changes over time. I used to be really into powerlifting and all that. I mean, I'm still into powerlifting and interest, but I don't compete in it anymore or anything. Um, I do watch a lot of the strongman competitions and... Hmm. This is probably a topic I could get into another time, even more detailed. Um, I'll probably have to write down the ideas that I have or what I want to talk about. And um, then I could uh, make different videos based on different topics and then talk about those things and then just go from there and see what happens. But, yeah. I think I might have mentioned it before, but one of the reasons why I've always been really strong and able to lift a lot of weight is because I was forced to as a kid. I had to lift a lot of weight because um, growing up, um, I always had to cut wood. I always had to 
Um, just do a lot of random stuff, like <laughs> a lot of manual labor. And that made me a lot stronger at a very early age. But yeah, I'll, I'll have to go into more detail about everything in another video and in the future. But until then, hope you all have a great day. Have fun drawing and let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments or anything else. Give us a like, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you later.